Hello guys and welcome to the Crossbow Squad Builder on the 14 Ultimate Team. You will not get a sweatier team than this in the game at all. I'm going to run through this um, fucking squad builder really quickly because um, I want to show you a load of goals at the end, really sweaty goals. Um, I just want to say one thing. Uh, we played 10 games, we won 8 and we lost 2. And uh, the, Out of the 8 games that we won, 5 of them were rage quits. So it really shows you how sweaty this team is. And if you want to win games, guys, this is the team for you. So I'm going to go straight into the goalkeeper, and that was Handanovic, and I have nothing to say about him because he was utter shit. He was the worst keeper I've ever used, and I would not recommend you get him. On to the right back now, we have a Bate. Now he's the probably the sweatiest right back in this game. He does a really good job. He contributed to the team by getting two assists. On to the left back as well, I have David Alaba. He is a god down the left back, down the left wing, and um, setting up loads of goals for this team. I actually don't know how many because I haven't won tradable, so he's played loads of matches for me. On to the first centre back, we have Juan Jesus. Now don't be turned off by the fact that he's a non-rare. Um, he does a really good job, obviously he has some solid stats there, so um, you know, don't be afraid to put him in your team. On to the other centre back now, we have Felipe Santana, uh, he's an absolute god as well guys, as you may know, the most overpowered centre back in this game. Uh, he scored one goal in this team, but I have him in another Bundesliga team, so that's why his stats are all messed up. On to the CDM now, we have Luis Gustavo, he um, is my favourite CDM in this game, he scored one goal in this team, and he was an absolute god again for me. He's a god in every single team I have him in. On the left mid, we have Marco Royce. He showed a bit of quality in the team. Um, I have him in a Bundesliga team as well, but in this team, he contributed four goals, and I'm sure he got a few more assists, but I didn't write down how many assists he got, because who gives a fuck about assists? On to the right mid, we have Juan Cuadrado, and he is uh, pretty good as well. You know, he got two goals, three assists. Not that great, but considering the players that he had around him, you know, you don't expect him to contribute much, because he he's not the best player. On to the cam now, we have Adrian Ramos, and he is uh, pretty good, and don't be afraid to convert him to a cam, guys. He's really good, um, scoring six goals, three assists, is a great return for a cam. On to the first striker, and you probably know, you can probably guess who the strikers were. We have Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, and um, he scored eight goals in this team, and he, he, I'm sure he got a fuckload of assists as well. And, uh, you know, he's just so OP. If you've never tried Aubameyang, I don't know what you're doing playing FIFA. Um... You know, and on to the best player in this team by far was Victor Ibarbo. Um, he scored nine goals in ten games. So the strikers don't have great outstanding stats, but, you know, that is the sweatiest possible team, in my opinion, in this game. If, if I came up against that team, I'd shit myself. But, um, you know, the keeper shit, so get rid of him. All you, if you want to change the keeper, you just get um, a Brazilian goalkeeper. They're pretty reliable. So that's what, that's what I'm going to go out and do now. But, um... Yeah, so it's the sweatiest team ever. There's a goal montage at the end of this, guys, and it's going to be the sweatiest goal montage you'll ever see. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe to see more, and goodbye.